Hi, I'm Grant from Civil Survey Solutions. This video shows you how to create and manipulate blocks within AutoCAD. It's a very basic beginner's guide to. Right, here's a quick video on creating a block and editing a block and what the different properties do. It's a nothing video, I'm just going to draw some lines and we're just going to change some of the entities on these lines so you can see what happens. Alright, they don't have to be lines, it can be circles, it can be arcs, it can be whatever you want. So there we go. Alright, I'm going to create a block. So I type in B for block and give it a name. Alright, and specify a base point where you want it to be and select all the objects so you select everything and then you can make it annotative and whatever else in the units and so forth so I'm just going to go OK so now we have a block alright I'm going to create another layer I've probably got some layers here so yeah what, what I'll do is I'll put it onto another layer so at the moment you can see up here it's on layer 0 now this is a toolbar if you haven't got the toolbar up it'll be over here on the home tab of the ribbon tabs as to what it is when I click on it you'll see that it's on layer 0 what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to say let's say grad F line I don't really care and you can see that it has changed the color alright because I drew all the entities on layer 0 which you don't have to create a new layer, it's default layer in Civil 3D and in AutoCAD and any Autodesk product. All right, It's not a multitude of layers, it's not something you have to create specifically, it is there all the time. You cannot delete it. All right. Now if you create the images on layer 0, then it will adopt the properties of whatever layer you put it on. Alright, so if I went and I changed the line type, so if I go into the layer properties, and mine's on another screen, so I better bring it over so you can see, and I'll go and what layer were we on? Something grad, grad F line. You see the line type here is continuous, I'm going to change it to say dash 2. Alright, now I'll just bring this down so we can see what's going on. Now, that's actually changed it to dash 2. I'll just have to get a distance to see what sort of scale I'm at here so I know what to sort of set it to. Oh, gosh, massive scale. There we go. So you can see that it's adopted the dash 2. If I change that to center 2, you'll see it's adopted center 2. Okay, if I change that back, I'll change it back to dash 2 because it's a nice easy one to see. And you can see it's changed it again. Right, now if we go into the block editor, there's two ways. Either you can double click and accept the block and it goes into the big block editor. Alright, you also have an in place block editor. So I'm going to use that because I prefer using it because I like it just within the drawing and it's easy to see. Now, I'll move the layers out of the way so we can see. Here is the toolbar for the block editor in place. To get to it, right click in any grey part of the screen, so that's where you haven't got a toolbar, go up to AutoCAD and select Ref Edit. Alright? Okay, so I'm going to select first off that I want to do some editing. I select my block and I go OK. Alright, now once I've done this I can go and override any of these things. Now I'm changing some of the properties. Now this is another toolbar that I've bought up but you can use the properties dialog box if you like. Right, which is this thing here. So I could say let's change the colour to red. Alright, and let's change this circle to be, uh, where are we, line type, we will make it continuous. Alright, and that's all I'm going to do. So now I'm going to save those and go OK. 
that's the save button down here all right now you'll see that because I have an override within the block now this this is what's called the nested objects are the, all the objects that make up the block all right so I've changed that color to red so it doesn't matter what layer I put this on if I go and change it to lot layer see that line always stays red okay because it's overwritten likewise the line type of that circle oops sorry the line type of that circle always stays continuous because we'd overwritten it in the block editor now why I'm saying don't put things onto a different layer and I'll show you why if we decide that okay this line here is going to go on to some ridiculous layer that's a totally different color to everything else PT design no you won't see that so let's find another one there we are PT survey in orange okay so this is on PT survey all the rest is on layer zero now if I go and save that and if I want to go and isolate the layer Oops, sorry wrong button isolate the layer you'll see that that line has turned off because it's on a different layer all right so you aren't seeing the whole block if I decide that I want to try and isolate the layer that this is on it's still selecting the block layer all right but it's not showing that line because it's on a different layer this works if this is the same thing as if you freeze everything if you thaw everything whatever that's why I'm saying in a block put everything on layer zero and then if you want to override anything change it within the block okay so if I go into the block editor and go OK see each of these are separate entities in the editor that's what I'm talking about as being the nested objects